am doing my June favorites video for you all and I am really excited and I feel like I say that every month but this month I'm the most excited because June was to probably to this day the best month ever like ever but anyways I don't have that many favorites because of my major favorite of the month and that was the fact that I actually got cast as a lead in a web series that filmed for 10 days in the Caribbean in the month of June yeah that happened. It was just 10 days of me kind of re-realizing like, oh my gosh, yes, this is what I want to do. This is awesome. This is amazing. This is why I love acting so much. So I just had like an amazing time and I want to thank you guys because obviously it's a web series and I know that my social media following and all the things like that, that attributed to the reason why I got the part. So I just want to thank you guys and I'm excited for you guys to see it. And for those of you asking, it's with Austinus TV and it's going to be out in July. So you best know that I'll be pimping it out. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. So that being said, let's hop on into the rest of my favorites. I've got some nail polish favorites to start off with, and the first is the Sephora Formula X nail polishes. And I'm just loving them. I got a couple of colors, this pink one's on my toes right now, and they just stay on your nails for so long. They're so opaque and glossy and shiny, and they're like the best nail polishes ever. But I do have two other favorite nail polishes. This next one is the Revlon Colorstay Gel Envy, and this is in the shade All or Nothing, and it's what I'm wearing on my nails right now, and I really like it. I don't know why if I'm end thinking it's gel. It's pretty. And the last nail polish is Truth or Flare, which is what I was wearing on my nails earlier in the month, and it's like this dusty blue color, and it's so pretty, and I think it's from one of their more recent collections. First of all, brows. You can probably tell that I just want strong brow game. I'm filling them in super dark because I'm growing my roots out, which all of you love to kindly remind me in the comments. So I've been filling in my eyebrows with the Sigma Medium Brow Powder in the little like spoolie and eyebrow thing. I'm all about the eyebrows right now. Next, I have a favorite that's a travel size, which proves how much I was traveling in this month. And this is Benefits Sunbeam. And this is a highlighter, but it's like a golden bronzy color. And what I've been doing with this is I've been mixing it with my foundation and it gives you this really like alive and dewy and glowy bronzy goddessy glow and I'm loving it. It makes you look glowy without looking like oh I put my highlighter on my cheekbones and then I dusted it on my cupid's bow and doop -a doop -a doo I watch beauty guru videos. Kind of like what? I was born glowing. I'm just a glowing orb of radioactive kryptonite. Clark Kent stay far away. My next favorite is a blush and this is the CoverGirl Clean Glow Blush in 110 Peaches and I'm wearing this on my cheeks right now and I've been wearing it all the time. I love these. I have one in roses too and it just looks so nice on the face. Multi-dimensional. Your face doesn't look flat because it's not because it's 3D unless you're paper boy from that Spongebob episode. So my lip combination of the month I actually cannot take credit for because I, I didn't like go in and steal this from another YouTuber but she was talking about it and I was like oh my gosh I'ma buy it. Your lips look so luscious. Not in like a creepy way. Kind of creepy. But moving on. A YouTuber that I watched XX Alley Cosmetics XX, but now I think she just goes by her full name, which I can't pronounce her last name, so I'm not even gonna try. But in her video, she mentioned that she really loved the Milani lip liner in number three, which is in nude, and then the Wet n Wild lipstick in 902C in Bare It All. And she'd been wearing this lip combination in her videos, and I was obsessed with it. You guys know I love the darker nude colors, and this is like a drugstore version. It's what I'm wearing right now, and I'm oh. I love it. It's amazing. 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 So amazing. So my next favorite is this little perfume. And this is the Kai fragrance and I love this. I brought this traveling with me. It's a rollerball and it's like stained with like soft tanner. <laughs> so I'm like meh, 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 meh. I love this. It smells straight up like gardenias. It's so pretty and so nice and I wore it the entire time I was in the Caribbean. My next favorite is a skincare favorite and this is the Pixie Glow Tonic and it gently is... is I don't read, by the way. And I really think it makes me glow and brighten. And I don't know why, but I feel like my skin's been doing a lot better since I've been using this. And I've really been liking my skin lately. And I, I want to say a lot of that's attributed to this little baby. My next favorite is the Facial Radiance Overnight Mask by First Aid Beauty. And you guys know I swear by First Aid Beauty Skincare. And it's an overnight, like, cream hydrating mask. Put it on your skin. You fall asleep. And you wake up. And you're like, is this a baby's ass? No, it's my face. And your face doesn't look like a butt. It just feels soft. And my last skincare favorite is this mini travel size of the Body Shop Body Butter, and this is the coconut fragrance. This smells so good, and it was tropical and lovely, and I just, I love it. And the body butters from the Body Shop are my 
so abrupt. I have some fashion favorites for you guys because I am all about the fashiony things this month. First thing is something you've probably seen all throughout this video so far, and it's my henna. I love henna. If you're not familiar, it's not actually a tattoo. It stains your skin for about, I don't know, seven to ten days, usually around there. I've had mine for, oh, oh, I've had mine for exactly a week now. And, oh, I don't think it's, I think it's going to stay more than <laughs> ten days. But yeah, in case you're wondering, it is Indian henna, and I got it at the festival that my hometown does when I was home for a couple of days. Totally harmless and really pretty and fun and not permanent. My next fashion favorite is this necklace that I got from Express a couple of months ago when I was in New York and I've been wearing it all the time and I think it's really pretty and very special and it looks way fancier. It's like, yeah, I bought it at a crystal shop and the man told me that it was once owned by a Tibetan goddess who learned how to stop time. And you're like, <laughs> kidding, I bought it at Express. Next favorite are these sunglasses and these I actually wanted to include in my favorites video like a while ago. Look at them. Oh yeah, oh yes, oh yes, oh yeah. Bummers, where the sun is to my shirt. They're just these sunglasses from Forever 21 that remind me a lot of the Celine sunglasses and I think they're like a better improved version of them. They look expensive and fancy and nice and they were $2.50. My last fashion favorite of the month are these shoes from Just Fab, which I have been wearing like crazy. I'm not kidding guys, I wear these all the time. I just love these shoes. They're cute and they're comfortable and they keep my feet from falling off. Oh, I stepped on a band-aid, I'm gross. My favorite food of the month are sugar snap peas from Trader Joe's, which I have been dipping in sriracha. And these are a brand new bag and a brand new bottle because I ran out and I was, I was sad. I don't know, they're just good. They're cold and they're crispy and they're crunchy. So if you're looking for like an alternative to chips, I feel like this might fulfill your craving. And sriracha is just awesome. I put it on everything. So you like have a sugar snap pea and you're like, mm, and then you're like, ooh, and it's like, ooh, and it's a flavor explosion in your mouth. My favorite book of the month. I actually mentioned this in last month's video that I was starting Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell and I finished it and I freaking loved it. I thought it was so good. I loved the characters and I really loved how it was kind of an unconventional love story. I think a lot of the time we read books like Nicholas Sparks and things like that where it's like, look at this beautiful girl who falls in love with this beautiful guy and they have those beautiful things and all the beautiful things happen and you're like I continuity because I, I that doesn't happen in real life or just at least not to me I liked it a lot and I want to challenge not challenge but all of you guys to check it out because I think it's a very nice alternative to the typical summer reads and I think it gives a little bit more perspective on young love but anyways I listened to that on audible.com and you guys know audible because I talk about it all the time but hey what's one more time audible.com is an audiobook website lay duh you can use audible.com slash Megan and you'll get a 30 day free trial as well as a book with that so you can check out Eleanor and Park or you can check out any other book your little heart desires if your little heart wants something a little more steamy for uh, summertime you can check out 50 Shades of Grey I ain't gonna tell your mom don't worry, don't worry. Get all freaky with yourself. I literally just had a masturbation joke on my YouTube video. <laughs> Speaking of steamy things, I have been watching Sex in the City right now and it is my all time favorite TV show of this month, mostly because Amazon had a deal where it was like, do you wanna buy the whole box set of all of the DVDs for $60? I volunteer as tribute. It's definitely mature content. I would say I wouldn't watch it unless you're like, because there's a lot of sex and there's a lot of nudity and there's a lot of things that, to be honest, sometimes you just don't want to know. Some things are better left to the imagination or to broadcast on HBO. My favorite music of the month. I have just been loving this playlist that I made for the cruise, which I titled Cruising. <laughs> I put that on my Spotify, so I'll have that link down below if you guys want to check it out. It's just one of those playlists that I love blasting in my car with the windows all rolled down. More than that, I've absolutely been loving Jenna Kramer's album. And you guys might recognize her from One Tree Hill, but she has a country album out and she's so good. And there's something about summertime that makes me want to listen to country music all the time. So I've been loving her album. It's so good. And then obviously Ed Sheeran's album, which just came out, which is he's my god. <laughs> so naturally I'm obsessed. Okay guys, that's it for my June favorites video, but before I go, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be at VidCon this weekend and I really, 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 really want to meet you all. If you guys want to meet me at VidCon, I'm actually having a 10 a.m. signing on Friday. I'm going to have all the details of that listed down below, but I would love to come meet you guys and we can take a selfie together. Cool stuff, bro. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, I forgot to tell you guys I love you oodles and noodles, which I do. Crap, was this on here the whole time? It's like a freaking Lady Melville tag. That ruined the whole sh-
shop. I'm here on the set of Young and Hungry with ABC Family. Hey guys, today I am doing the TMI tag. 